Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, I told you we're going to start on a little bitty Evan Rude cutie. And that's what we're going to do. It's just not the one I had in mind. Um, I got one that come in here. Um, and uh, it's got some broken aluminum pieces on it and so I'm gonna uh, get that off there replace the broken parts with good ones out of the bone pile and the way I'm gonna do this is not necessarily the by the book method let's say but I've done this before on several that have uh, had similar issues so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we're gonna get on that one and uh, we'll get it squared away and then I'll move to the other little cutie. Um, the one in questionis happens to be an eight horsepower 1999 Evan Road. And uh, we're gonna turn it into a little Johnny Rude. That's what we're gonna do. You understand so I want to say a big hello and welcome to the new subscribers and let's get on that thing well at least I should be able to save this here carburetor well here comes a drop-off A little eight horse. He's coming out pretty good. She'll clean up. I have to get everything else out of it, but uh, yeah, it will clean up just fine. And we'll save this little carburetor. And I'll give her a soak and blow it out, lube it up, label it up. Then I'm going to show you this outboard that just come in. It's broke it good. This is quite the repair I have to do on it. But I take care of this outboard because he takes care of me. Ooh. Pieces, parts, pieces, parts. We'll get it all out. We'll get it. Mm hmm. Get the spruce needles out of the carburetor throat. You know, you need to get the spruce needles out. You'll be having them spruce needles in there. You want a stannis? No spruce on needle. Yeah, it's not all as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be. I thought it. I thought it. Oh. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't think much gas would have went up through that. It plugged. So. I'll wire wheel that some more and get it in the old cleaner. Can you see that? It's all broke. I'm broken in two. Somebody broke me in two. It hurt. Ow! Poopoo balls. 
so I took the two side clamps off now I'm taking the uh, and I took the two lower unit bolts one on each side out and now we're taking out the big bolt so we can get all this off because the shift rod runs all through there you know you know the shift rod So we got to get that off. <laughs> now you say, why don't you go get a ratchet and a socket? Because I'm sitting here and I'm comfortable. And I have this one in my pocket. That's why. Ow, skater got me. Now I gotta get up. Oh. To get my mouth hut. See, there's the shift rod. The shifty rod. And I got a hammer. If I had a hammer, um, yeah. Now, look at the length of that bolt, would you? Look at that thing. You can do it. I think. I think. Get out of there. Ain't that fun? What else we got to undoes on here? If that was, you know, let's see if that ain't gonna move that. <laughs> can you get out past that? I think you can. <laughs> Gotta move that out of my way. It's a long bolt. So, where's the broken piece? Where's the broken, broken, broken piece? Oh boy. Got all kind of link images on there. All kind of link images. Can I get any space? I think I can. I think I can. A little bit more. I can get some pry out room on there. Better watch that, huh? But yeah, let me get it. Oh, maybe something like that. Well, I can see. I've done this before. Trust me, I've done it before. He broke it good. He broke it that good. <laughs> I broke it really good. Mm. <laughs> well, them mounts in there ain't too good, but I guess once you put the other ones on there, that's right. Where you at? Where you at? Where you is? So. So. I've got to pry this that way. Well, I hit on the broken chunks. Boom. Oh. 
think I'm past there now. If I had a hammer. Claire, I think this part is on the crack. Now I have to go into the bone pile. And I have to find the right bones. But I do think I have one. Somewhere. I gotta go look. I'll be back. Shit. Well, here's the donor. I popped the lower unit off. And this one's got some some damage. No, I didn't break that. That's the way I got it. You can see it's an old salty break. But this lower unit's still good. Nothing wrong with it. And this motor, I looked at the little tag back somewhere over here. And it's an EE. So that means it's a 1999. Got some custom. See the custom on the bottom? Some custom. So, now that I got the lower unit off, I'll have to do the same thing I did. Get that old long bolt out. I'll cock this out a little bit with my crowbar. Why do they call them a crowbar? They used to hit crows in the head with them? Crowbar. I'll get my pry bar, put it in there, push it over to the side bang that off then i have to do some elbow greasing and geesing get some elbow greasing and geesing on this part because it's all sticky yuck same as that one we'll get it we'll get it i'll be back now on this one here i've got to be I wiggled and wiggled and wiggled and wiggled and got it down to about there. But I got to be a little more careful with this unit because this is the good one. This is the one I want. So I don't want to be, like I did on that broken one, I don't want to be banging there. Because, uh, I mean, you can tap it. But this is the good unit, so I don't want to bust that. So I've got my little, that thing. Now, if this is a crowbar, anyway, I got this thing so that I can cock it off to the side and then I'll get in here with my crowbar and push that off there without all the, without all the carnage and banging. At least that's what I'm going to try and do. It's coming pretty good. Maybe I should spin it. Oops. Wow. You know, you know, like so. See, I gotta have that, I gotta have that little space to get this off. Oh, there, 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 there. It's almost past this. Now, once it gets past this one spot here, I'm almost there. Almost. <laughs> almost. I'm going to give it some gentle. Persuasion. Just to get it past the spot. 
in. Should be able to get it off of here. Come on. Come on, yes. There it comes. Hey, look at it. Now I even got a spot I can get in there with. Oh, and pry. Yeah. One more spot I gotta get past, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. There it comes. Now you can see. It's coming, and now it's just a matter of prying, finding places I can pry without doing any damage. I don't want to damage, but there ain't many spots right under there. Oh, come on, almost had a spot. Felt like. She's all sticky. That there. Yeah. Well. there and get rid of this one because that one's got a little little chunk missing it wouldn't have hurt nothing wouldn't have hurt a thing <laughs> get off my finger that's there right yeah okay oh there's that one this must be the bottom one what I do with it now get out of there oh that's the tightening that's for that screw that right here that's how it tightens itself so I'm gonna leave that little gooby grease in there that's your tin center plate in case you never saw one it just goes in there and then when you tighten the screw it pushes that up against this shaft and tightens it but uh, I gotta get things cleaned up and you don't want to forget your little block of rubber that goes in behind there. So, get some geese on here, slide this thing, tap it back on, and I'll be back. on this being little oi put some geese on it she 
that helps. I want some problem here. Ooh, there she goes. There she goes. Well, there's the bracket and everything all back in place on the little Evan Rude 8 horsepower cutie. She's good to go. And of course, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with the little 3 horse Johnny lower with the neutral forward shift on it made in Belgium. So, I'll be looking into getting something done with that too but uh, yeah there's the little eight horsepower all squared away after all the banging and carnage came out pretty nice well I don't know if I said or not but uh, I am now the owner of that motor um, that's the one that I showed you the cylinders were left to the elements with the head off and I don't know if they were that way before or not but they're full of rust and pit and that cylinder and power head the cylinders and the power head are for the most part shot on that one but there's a lot of good parts beautiful lower unit All kind of good parts. Throttles, shifters. So, and I have several power heads that I could put on that motor. Or on that lower. I've got, look at that one. That's a nice one too. That's a 55 commercial. With a nice stainless prop on it. But that one don't need much in and of itself. I think it needs a throttle cable. That's about it. And it'll be ready to go. So, not exactly sure how many of these commercial 55s I've got. But I've got a lot. So has anybody ever heard of one of these things? Of course, we're reading it upside down. But it says Mott Hammer Knife Mower. That's what it says. And this came in here. You tow it behind a tractor or four-wheeler or something, but the owner brought it in and says he wants an electric start Honda motor put on it. And I said, well, I can do that. So that's what I'm going to do. He wants an electric start Honda on his Mott Hammer Knife Mower. That's what we'll put in. I don't even know what the thing does. Anybody knows anything about it? Tell me what it's supposed to do. I ain't even looked under it yet and what kind of blades and such are under there. But, it's belt driven. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. Up under that guard there is a fan belt. And there's another picture of the name. Mott Hammer Knife Mower. I don't know anything about the company or anything about exactly what that machine does. But I guess we'll have to dig into her and find out. 
Well, my plum tree looks beautiful, but I haven't seen nary the sign of a plum on it. I just don't think we've had the temperatures up here uh, for it to produce any plums this season. I'll keep an eye on it, but it's not looking good. Um, I looked at it real close the other day. I couldn't see no little bitty green plums or anything on there. It did have a few flowers on it earlier in the season, but I don't know if they got just when the, the different cold spells we had come through killed them or what. I got lots of currant berries. The raspberries, not so much. But I got these. See all them currant berries? Or excuse me, gooseberries. I've got a lot of gooseberries that are ripening up just now, starting to ripen. Yeah, so I'm going to have a, that little pathetic plant is actually producing quite a few berries. The gooseberries. Yummy. Okay, so we got this little eight horse all squared away. Got all the broken pieces off of it. I has got this lower for the little cutie belgium made highly abused um three horse not decided on the route i'll go with that yet i may even try and clean up that power head that uh, came off here but i think i have another one um i may even have two of them i don't know but i'm gonna look at that and uh we'll decide how we're gonna go on this but uh we got the old broked eight horse all back up and she's good to go. Um, you know, sometimes that happens. Aluminum gets broke. So luckily I had the parts and pieces in my bone pile over there and we squared this one away. And uh, so now the fella can go fishing. And that's what it's all about get them back to work so i think that's going to be a wrap on this one here and uh thanks for all the folks who said the kind words about us not getting washed away by a tsunami that's always a good thing you understand but i do have a couple boats around here if it got really deep so anyway Thanks a bunch for that, and as always, that is one more hat from the island of Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.